that's a wind gust right there. Whether it's surviving a natural disaster like a hurricane, whoa, or a man-made one, life or death will come down to what gear you have. So we asked Doomsday Prepper Tim Ralston exactly what we need. How are we gonna survive? Well, pretty simple. You can have yourself this get-home bag, an EMP box to protect all your other stuff, or a BOV bug out vehicle. First on the prepper list, a $200 get home bag. In this get home bag, you're gonna cover all your essentials. Food, water, fire, shelter, and protection. Protection like an ultra sharp Mora knife that the Swiss Army uses. This is a shave sharp kind of deal. I love somebody who's a survivalist who's like, yeah, yeah, let, let me show you on my arm how sharp this is. I'd be like, it's sharp, moving <laughs> on. The kit also includes a candle that'll burn for 120 hours. In a small environment, the heat off of that candle will be enough to keep you alive. When you have nothing, you have a nothing. little bit makes a huge difference, right? Big difference. And it even has a survival sleeping bag that'll protect you from the cold. This is what all the mermen are wearing this year. <laughs> Next on the list, a $1,600 EMP box from gtechindustries.com. It'll protect all your electronics from an electromagnetic pulse that could come from solar flares or some rogue nation. Basically what that does is it fries all the circuits from cars to computers and everything else. Load up the box with electronics and they'll be safe. And the final item on the prepper list, a $17,000 bug out vehicle featuring water and fuel storage in the back, a tent up top and a winch in the front. Tim uses Jeep Cherokees built between 92 and 96 for his bug out buggies. He says the best survival vehicles are older models with minimal electronics and easy to find spare parts. Hoping for the best, but prepping for the worst on the lowdown.